Okay, just one minute. Let me show our company for you. Yes. Okay, uh, firstly, I'd like to introduce Planet for you. Okay, uh, we are a global leading brand in network infrastructure solutions. We established in 1993, so we are more than uh, 27 years now. And we are a public listed company in Taiwan. And uh, our products are made in Taiwan, and uh, we do the RP production in Taiwan. And uh, we have the uh, distribution channels, more than 140 countries in the world. Wide. Yeah, and we are very happy to have partnership with rare distribution for the uh, Middle East countries and Africa. And we have committed to corporate social responsibility. Okay, this is core value about Planet Solution and the uh, company. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have the innovation for uh, uh, our company view and uh, the products. And uh, we are very uh, respective the quality and the sustainability of our products. This is our target market. Okay, and our target market for network infrastructures of smart networks, telecoms, industries, transportation, enterprises, and the communities. You can see we are not only over single products, we provide solutions to our customers for different applications. Okay, this is our about our uh, worldwide distribution channels. And we have the performance recognition. Yeah, we awarded a lot of awards here. We just share some information. It's uh, our honor to get these awards from different institute, uh, institutions. Um, yeah. This is about our sustainable business philosophy. We combine this R with corporate culture to achieve the UNSDGS. It's about CSR. CSR including four uh, topics like a corporate governance, environment sustainability, corporate commitment, and a social participation. Yeah, you can see more details here. We got the CSR recognition from Taiwan. We are the rank in the top 5% of corporate governance evaluation. And then we continue to get the CSR awards uh, from these years. The following will be our core products to introduce for you. We have comprehensive IP-based networking infrastructure solutions. You can see we have the NMS systems. And based on the NMS systems, we can manage and monitor our different product lines including the industrial ethernet, power over ethernet, lens switches, fiber optic, and of course, other products like the wireless LAN, IP surveillance, uh, network peripherals. And including the wireless LAN. Okay. 
This is about our core technology. We have the universal neurocognitive system. We have comprehensive PLE solutions. We have the long range PLE products. We have intelligent color touch LCD switches. And the black type is very new, unique products from Planet. And we have the renewable energy and the PLE products. This is about our NMS. We have the uh, hardware AMS and the software AMS. For the hardware AMS, we have the touch screen. Uh, we can show you here. Here is our AMS system. Uh, this is the touch screen AMS hardware. Uh, you can connect to the HDMI port to be a monitor. So it is the solution for con uh, control room use. From this interface, you can see how many products already connect to your AMS system. Then you can get a control and you can see more details. This is about the, our AMS. It is centrally managed all wired and wireless networking devices and the civilian system. And it is very user friendly touchpad design. And it supports automatic knowledge discovery of network topology. And uh, it can do the report and the alert. And from here, you can see here is a mark for the cloud viewer. Uh, we'd like to share you a good news that and also get ready the app, app for the cloud viewer. Um, it can monitor our products from your mobile phone. And here is our PLE solution. Uh, we have the PLE solution from one port injector to up to 45, uh, 48 ports PLE switches. And we have the uh, at zero to the three BD PLE plus plus ready. Um, it is standardized and it can be worked with uh, other devices that also BT ready products. So uh, for the BT standard, the PLE output watts is up to uh, 95 watts per port. So for uh, the high power consumption products uh, like the PTZ camera or maybe digital signage or maybe the smart lighting, uh, they are higher power consumption. For the traditional PLE is not enough now. Uh, so we get ready, the BT products can overpower up to 95 watts per power. And we, our switches with the 10 gigabit uplink um, and we have the commercial grade and also industrial grade solutions. So with our PLE products, actually you can use it in different applications, indoor, outdoors, and even very harsh environment. Here is about the, uh, the application can be used on our PLE products, like the IP surveillance, like the post system, like the PLE lighting in the office. And we have the long range PLE products. Uh, you can use coaxial cable to extend the power over its the distance uh, to 1 km. And if you use the UTP cable, the PLE distance can be 500 meters. 
and even you can use the phone wire like a J11. So the uh, it transmit power and the data at the same time. Uh, for hi, 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 Venus. Yes. Uh, your voice is not audible. Can you be a little bit more clear? Oh, uh, my voice. Can come closer to the mic. Yeah. Is it better if I hear? Is it better? Yes, yes, Venus. Now it's clear. Now it's better. Yeah, yeah, it's better now. Okay, I think I need this closer to me. Is it okay? Is it okay? Hi, you hear me clearly? Is it okay? Yeah. Yes, yes, no, it's perfect. No, it's, okay. it's perfect, okay. Okay, so, uh, uh, okay, this is our long-range POE products. You can transmit the power and data at the same time. By coaxial cable, the distance can be 1 km. And by UTP cable, the distance power and data can be 500 meters. And for the RJ11, you can use the telephone wire, like our RJ11 connector. So uh, the PO distance is up to 300 meters. So the long reach POE solution help to uh, customers to develop, the, to deploy the IP7 system that camera is far away. And uh, we have a unique product, the L touch LCD switches. You can see from the presentation, um, the switches with the touch screen LCD. So at sight, you don't need any PC or laptop, just with the switch that from panel that you can uh, manage and control and to see each port status. And then you can see the uh, POE status, any port is working or not. Or uh, you can do some uh, management from the touch screen. Here is more information about the intelligent color touch screen LCD. Uh, we have the recommendable type, and also we have the flat type later. We will introduce you. This uh, yeah, this one is flat type with touch LCD. And uh, our switches support Aviv. It means it can connect to any brand Aviv camera. And uh, from the switch, you can see the uh, e-map and uh, see the location of each uh, camera. And when you click on the camera, it will do uh, take a picture and send it to, uh, to the management. So you can uh, check the environment and uh, check the camera like the picture shows. It show you the IP address, the picture about the camera. And we have the uh, renewable energy POE switch. This one, this switch has an inverter inside. So it can get the sun power, uh, solar power, uh, solar, solar power, water power, and wind power to uh, save to the battery, like a uh, car battery. And then when there is no power, uh, it can overpower by POE port to maybe camera, maybe to wireless at this point. So for the high mountain or beach or uh, somewhere that uh, you cannot get power easily. So you use this uh, a renewable energy POE switch to transmit data and, and, uh, and power. And uh, this is the management software for our uh, BSP series. So you can see it's very too easy to understand and uh, manage the switch. The interface is very user friendly. And 
And here is about our industrial Ethernet and industrial automation. Uh, for the industrial Ethernet, we have the rack mount type switches, and we have the flat type switches, and we have the uh, waterproof switches. Our switches support ERPS ring and IEEE 1588. And we have there are three routing, uh, 10 gigabit, separate security for the network security feature. Mm -hmm. And we have solution uh, suitable for the metro, the railway, uh, airport, like this. Yeah, here are more words to share with you. Honor of Taiwan Excellence. This is the re revenue share by products. So Planet is a networking best company. Uh, so the network infrastructure, infrastructure solutions uh, occupied our share the most of the, our revenue. Like you can see the most part line will be uh, the power, uh, the industrial ethernet, and the power over ethernet, and the fiber optic, and the line switches. As I said before, Planet is not only provide one product or two products, we provide solutions for our customers to suitable for various uh, uh, applications. Here is one application about the internet of things. You can use our switches. Surveillance products, KVM, wireless S point, and uh, the wireless X point controller uh, for the IoT application. Yes, industrial Internet of Things. You can use switches to make a ring. So keep the system keep working. And we have the Ethercat solutions and the fiber bypass. These solutions keep your system working stable uh, without a stop. And we have the inter uh, Internet of Vehicle solutions, like the 4G LTE gateway with wireless support for the transportation for the train, for the road. Yeah. Um, and also I would like to share you one the latest products for you. This is our GS6322. 24 port PoE and a full port uh, 10 10G. So uh, in our product line, there are different groups. We have the full port to add port PoE products and the 16 port PoE products and the 24 port PoE products. All these are uh, BT solutions, means every port is up to 90, uh, 60 watts, more than 60 watts, sorry, more than 60 watts. For this one, it is layer three and the PoE plus plus. It support 24 ports. And uh, the PoE budget is more than 2000. Later, I will show you. Sorry. So compared to other products, uh, the 6320 24UP support higher power. The PoE++ add port type 4. Type 4 means each, each port is up to 90, uh, 95. And the, the type three is up to 
16, I said uh, 16, and there are 16, and there are 16 parts for type four. Okay, you see from the front panel, there are 24 parts, uh, J45 with BT power output. output. And there are two port 10 G, 10 G gigabit copper. And there are another two port fiber, 10 G fiber. And the 10 G fiber also support 2.5 G. And there is one console port. Okay, and one reset button. From the rear panel, you can see uh, it has CRPS power slot. Actually, it has two. So you can slot in different uh, power to get a total power up or to do power redundant. So it has two modes. There is uh, earth ground and two thermal fans. There are three power modules can be used with this switch. The first power is 920 watts. The second is 1,200 watts. And the third is 2,000 watts. So if you put two pieces, 2,000 watts power to the switch, the, the power budget will be uh, 400, uh, 4,000. Or you can do 2,000 power redundant, two pieces redundant with each other. So that's the uh, uh, special feature of this switch in our product line. Here is more uh, introduction about the key features about this switch. So you see the POE budget is up to uh, 200, 2,280 watts. It's talking about the, the uh, dual replacement power module design. So it can be redundant power supply mode or the extended power supply mode. So when it is the redundant mode, you are using one power and the other power will be standby. So when the power is low, the other will be active up. If I'm using the EPS mode, it's expanded power supply mode. It means one active is two power are both active. So you get a higher power budget. So when the system runs in EPS mode, activate the, activate the power uh, reject, eject button to ensure the system normal operation. It's a protection, protection of your switch. This is the POE budget table for your parents. Okay, and the switch for the ERPS ring, like this. When there is one, uh, one, uh, one cable is disconnected, the other system still keep working. It will uh, run by the other port.
in this 10 gigabit solution. And also the product support cybersecurity. This is a cybersecurity switch and there are three routing switch support all SPF version two. It is on VIP switch. So it can connect to uh, any brand on VIP camera and monitor by the EMAP. This is the EMAP. When you connect the camera, you can see the picture and IP address and the information of the camera. So it helps the manager to deploy the camera and uh, monitor the camera status. Also, it can do PoE remote control. And it has the intelligent PoE features like uh, PD alive check, the real time PoE status, PoE schedule. You can monitor the real time PoE status. And then when you do the PD alive check, if it is fail, it will reboot the camera. And then you can do PoE schedule to save the power. It's about the peer extended mode already introduced. And it supports the event alone. It has multi speed SFP plus interfaces. So you can use a one gigabit SFP or a 2.5 gigabit SFP or a 10 gigabit SSP. Okay, there are more. A software manager features from the switch. It supports standard management features. It can be managed by web based, by telnet, by SMP, by console command line. And it supports cybersecurity, SSH, TLS, SAMP. Okay, here are more details about the management. Uh, our security. This is the application of the switch. As it is layer three, so you can use like a core switch. And you connect to the PO extender to connect to the cameras for any part device that you need. That switch is the commercial grade. This one, I'd like to show you our industrial internet solution. We have total industrial networking solutions. The advantages of our solution is reliable transmission, secure management, user-friendly design, and easy integration with SCADA HMI system. Intelligent PoE, long reach PoE, five hour length, and IEEE 15988 PTP. It support layer, we support layer three OSPF. The here is easy integration with SCADA HMI system, user-friendly. Our industrial switches can be used in robust, uh, very harsh environment. It supports ERPS ring for network redundancy. It is P PTP protocol.
there are the intelligent POE management features. For our industrial Ethernet product lines, we have a layer three level products. Like this, the IGS 6325 series. For the 24 port solutions, we have fiber, we have POE, we have copper, we have the 10 gigabit and one gigabit SFP solutions. For this series, it supports AC, DC power redundant, ERP3, and uh, the recovery time is less than one, less than 10 milliseconds. It supports mobile TCP for factory automation. And it's also DIDO supported, digital input and digital output. And it's IP40 case. This is one of the applications for your reference. The layer three series can be the core switch connect to uh, distribution switches. Then the distribution switches connect to the like the server phone, like the uh, uh, camera, like the PC group. Okay, and we have the thing real time. This is our showroom. So here we put some switches here. Like this switches. It's there three. Three ring switch. And it support eight PP port. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight fiber ports. The green port is five, 10 G fiber. This is one G fiber. And we have the uh, PO injector with two port POE. It's the, uh, the orange part means POE parts. These are the waterproof switch. Support the POE, as, uh, support, sorry. the POE port. So we have different models with the ultra POE, standard POE, and uh, uh, non-POE products. For the metro switches, the metro switch support the redundant power and uh, the uh, front access. All the ports in the connection are from panel, are from the front panel. So when you put the switch in the cabinet, still can be easy to access or to do the cable connection. It is reliable, stable, and long reach.
metro metropolitan area network switches. We have the eight port fiber, eight port fiber with four port uh, PoE, or a ten port copper with two port fiber. They are backbone industrial switches, support layer three or layer two plus, in the four port gabbit. Fiber optic. And the temperature can be bare from minus 40 to up to uh, 75 degrees C. Here's IP30 ratched cases. And for the industrial internet, we also offer the layer two plus, layer two products. This is layer two plus recommendable switches. Supported dual DC power and a maximum 240 watts PoE budget. And the conveyor minus 40 to 75 degrees C. And we have the thin rail kit and the woman kit. For these uh, managed switches, you can do this cat. So from the fiber switch at the office or in your building inside, you can use the uh, fiber connection up to 120 to connect to the other camera, maybe on your highway or uh, on your road. Then one port of the switch can connect to the other switch with fiber up to 120 kilometers. So you connect one by one by one. So it align and all the uh, cameras or what is S point can be managed from the uh, control room. So it helps to extending the ethernet distance. Here is more products for the layer two plus PoE switches. The PoE power up to 36 watts for each PoE part. And here shows 8 port PoE to 16 PoE. Here is a list to help you to select the products. Four ports. And now I'd like to introduce our flat hat switch. Uh, you can say it's uh, uh, unique products from Planet. Like the industrial switches, the flat type switches uh, also can bear the harsh environment uh, for the wide temperature up to 75 degrees C. So it's as strong as the industrial ethernet, yeah, as, as strong as the thin rail switches. But it is thin. Like this one, this is the flat type. You can see it is very thin, so you can put in the narrow space. It's industrial grade, and it is orange port, so it's PoE supported. It supports DC power and AC power. This is one device. We have the other device. Here with the uh, here with the fiber part, so it also offers the fiber connection. It's wall mountable. Here is the wall mount. It's wall mountable. 
we can see the hole. And it is magnetic mountable. So very easy to do installation. Just to put the it stock. And also from the SS design. So make the installation easily. And we also have the model with our CD touch screen. This is the step for uh, installation. It's a flat design and the thin rail installation. Then you can do magnetic installation from the SS, dual power input, fiber connection, PoE usage. We can see the PoE usage and the touch LCD screen. Here are more models for your reference. We have the flat type uh, up to 16 port. So for the flat type, we also have a layer two, layer two plus, and a layer three management products. The, this, we use the same housing, the flat housing case to make the smart router. We have three models now. It's our WGR500 series. It's also purely supported. It has 120 watts power budget. And it also has the uh, PoE intelligent features like the PoE schedule, schedule power recycle, PDL live chat. It is support a firewall. And IPv6 and uh, SAMP management design. And uh, the wizard and uh, support plan and DDAS. SAMB, DMZ, these features. With touch screen, it shows you this information. The three models. You can connect to SS point, POE sensor, IP cam. And there is a firewall. They support DMZ. And we have the EN50155 Ethernet switch. It is waterproof switch. Can be used uh, on the railway. You can see it uses uh, spatial connectors like the M12 connectors. And there are, there are also models with the, the uh, RJ45 connectors. The advantage of this kind of switches is the connection is not easy to be disconnected. The cables can be connected very slowly. And it is waterproof. Okay, here is our uh, waterproof switch family. We have uh, M12 port, the military tail port, and our J45 ports. And then we have the 4G LTE cellular gateway. So you can put this, uh, this gateway on the bus and on the bus station. So
So when the buses goes by, you can get the uh, advertisement or bus information from the bus station. And also the gateway support wireless. So the passengers can enjoy the wireless from the gateway. ICG series uh, is the 4G LTE gateway in natural grid. It supports the SD Wi Fi dual band for mobile client connectivity. And it supports uh, RS232 or RS485. Serial console port. It's DC power input and the guard management features. This model is modern and uh, uh, with four port, copper port. And we have the models that uh, there is G in the model name, means this, the gateway support the GPS. So if you put it on the bus, you can easy to know where is the bus by search the gateway. This one is for indoor use. The vehicle for GLT cellular gateway. Can be put can be put on bus or cars. And the, uh, this is about our renewable energy management network switch. So here is the solar board to get some power to step to the battery and over PoE to camera or wireless access point. And uh, we have the management system to see the power usage and the system event and the syslog and along. Not only solder, but also other green energy, like the wind power, water power. And here is about our low reach POE products. As introduced before, it is also our uh, important product line. From the, the uh, power resource switch, we use the coaxial cable to connect to the extender, the extender to connect to the uh, Ethernet device. So the distance can be 100, 1,000 meters. It is using the BNC cable uh, connector to connect to the cameras. For this model, you can connect to four cameras. This is one port BNC and the four port output, four port PoE output. So we have one port device and four port devices. You can use for the LRP201, you can use either coaxial cable or UTP cable to transmit the power and the data. It supports dual redundant, power redundant. We have industrial PoE plus plus injector.
for the IPOE 270 series with two parts, POE output and SPT standard. And we have one model you can use with uh, five, uh, 54 volt or uh, we have the the other model can support 12 volt DC power. This is the uh, POE model support 12 volt DC. And we have the waterproof POE plus plus extender. You can get uh, 95 watts power input and a 30 watt 30 watt output or you can use one port output 60 watts it's ip67 rated waterproof and the ik10 rated aluminum case you can extend the PoE distance 100 more and it's also industrial grade, so it can bear minus 40 to 75 degrees C. So this is one symbol that you can use the pure extender. From extender to the S point is 100. Uh, can be 100 meters up to the, the other side to the PoE switch 100 meters. So the PoE distance is 100 meter extent. This is about our media converter. In the industrial product line, we have 10 gigabit media converter. And we have the uh, PoE media converter. So one port to fiber switch and the other port PoE to the powered, PoE powered device. It supports standard mode and the legacy mode. At the BT standard mode, uh, it's just uh, to uh, can, can, can work with the uh, BT standard PoE device. And if your powered device is not a BT standard, maybe it's ultra PoE or non-standard, you can switch the media converter to legacy mode. So when it is at legacy mode, it can overpower to the other device, no matter it is BT standard or not. And it support 12 to 55, uh, to 56 volt DC redundant. So at this mode, even the fiber length is down, the camera won't be affected. It still can be worked. We have one port PoE media converter and also two port media converter. For the two port PoE media converter, it has two port PoE output. Here is our industrial VPN getaway. For the VPN getaway, we have the commercial grade and also industrial grade. Here we introduce the industrial grade.
the IBR100 is ready now, and then later the 300 series will come. For the 300 series, we will have POE model, wireless model, and the fiber models. Here is the VPN gateway application. The IVR300 can connect to other IVR300 uh, series. It supports SSL VPN channel, IPsec VPN channel, PPTP VPN channel, or P2P, P2TP media, uh, VPN channels. So as because of the COVID-19, many people are working from home, but they need a connection to office to get some information. So you can use our IVR series to get a connection to make the uh, VPN channels to your office without the security concern. And they support a firewall. Here's the comparison table of the uh, IVR 300 series. This is about our uh, optical fiber bypass switch. So for the uh, normal situation, we usually connect to uh, products by fiber. But when the fiber disconnected, then the system, will, the system will be down. So what can we do? That's why we need a fiber bypass switch in the middle. It connects to the devices by fiber. But when the power is down, no, no, no power, the fiber switch still can transmit the data without power. This is the fiber pass switch with a uh, different connector type, like SC type, LC type. And we have the multi-mode model and a single mode model. If you want to see more information about our industrial internet, please use the QR code. We have the QR code for the industrial internet or industrial uh, product selector and uh, the industrial automation. Okay, above is the in, uh, introduction for our industrial internet. Here is introduction about our industrial automation solution. The advantages is uh, we can connect the industrial automation serial device to IoT network. It's economical solution for MOBUS, TCP, RTU, ASC, network integration and powering the digital transmission with Ethercat. For the industrial automation application like this, the middle is the central management. And it can monitor the factory or the warehouse. They point the mobile gateway Ethernet slab, serial devices. The serial devices uh, support point to point, like the upper application. And the mobile gateway support 
point to marking point. Like the up, uh, the downward location. So that's the difference for the serial server and the mobile speedway. For the serial device server, we have two models now, the ICS series. It supports RS-232, 422, and the 485. So you can connect to any devices that has the serial parts. And uh, they work with Planet Media Converter chassis. Uh, we have uh, 15 port, seven port media converter chassis. So you can put in uh, different media converters, including the fiber to copper or the like this serial server device servers and uh, 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 like the uh, video over fiber uh, or faster ethernet copper to PoE, different devices with the chassis then you can manage these media converters by one as uh, IP for central management. And it's IP-based web interface with an internet console management. It supports many data modes, like below shows. And here are more serial port servers. Yeah, like in the factory, uh, the uh, servers can connect to like the uh, bulletin board or the PLC board. And then all of them connect to the internet. So you can do central control or monitoring in your office or the control room. Here is the uh, comparison table. And we also have the mobile speedway. This is the topology of the mobile speedway. support the mobile TCP IP. And then you can use 32 master TCP connections and the 32 slab TCP connections. Multiple operation modes. You just order one device and it can be mastered and also can switch to slab. RTU master and RTU slab. This is the uh, one port mobile gateway. Master mode for 32 slab TCP. Slab mode for 32 TCP master. This is the RS-42, RS-485 to TP. more devices. The serial port to fiber. Serial mobile gateway. This is the application. Mobile gateway series here. One port in the two parts. Copper port and the fiber port. It's Ethercad Slab module application. Easily connecting SCADA HMI system but with the I.O. devices. What kind of places will need this kind of products? Like the factory automation, motor motion control, communication modules, 
interface cards, sensors, operator interfaces. This is the, these are the application areas. For the EtherCAD slab, we have digital input and digital output models, two models. They are building isolated 16 digital input outputs and a two port copper LED indicator. DC power inputs, removable terminal, terminal blood connector. There is also industrial grade. Okay, if you need more information about our industrial automation, please scan this QR code. Here is our fiber optic solution. We have comprehensive solution from the edge to the core. From the center to the uh, user, uh, there could be distance more than 100 meters. So we can use different devices and the cables to make the internet uh, reach. For example, you can use fiber router to reach 2km. And then you can use the fiber media converter to get the internet internet more than 120 meters, uh, 120 km. And uh, you can use the uh, oh, VDS2 solution and also the GEPON solution. And then now we have the GEPON solution as well. We have the fiber switch. These are the layer three 10G fiber switches. They are very high end switches and uh, uh, got the Cisco like command line with console interface. And these are the uh, high density fiber network switches because they have 24 pores, not a steam porous fiber. Actually, we have the model with 48 fiber. There are, there are three levels. Support DDM. So you can monitor in the SAP status. Here is the uh, SFP information from BDM feature. And we have the metro switches. We have the chassis switch. This is such as, this chassis switch uh, has four slots. You can put in different modules to get the, uh, the ports you need. Support ERPS ring, not only industrial, but also our other devices support ERPS ring. More metro switches. Eight port. At the core side, you can make uh, the Metro Ethernet ring, like use our chest switch or high density fiber switches.
to make a core. And we have the aggregation switches, layer three or maybe layer two plus. It's B rail type metro switch, PoE type metro switch. Support multiple fiber interfaces to get your PS ring. Long distance supported. Industrial PoE plus switches. Media converters. It's a 10G media converter. It's a PoE media converter. Also industrial grade. Fiber bypass, we already saw it. This is the introduced uh, media converter chassis. This is the management model with 16 ports. Support power redundant. Gigabit smart converter or fast ethernet smart converter. How can we put it in this for central management? It support temperature management. And the converter set as web management. And OIM configuration. And SAMP management. For the uh, management type, we have seven ports, uh, 15 ports, and uh, 15 ports with power redundant. It's a port DC or AC power redundant. You can connect to uh, the 10G media converter, the 1G copper to fiber media converter, or faster ethernet media converter, or serial converter, video over fiber converter, VDSO2 converters. It's about our GE Pone solution. We provide GE Pone OLT for the CO side. And uh, it connected by the passive optic network cable to the splitter it then connect to the OAU at home. The OAU support uh, IPTV. We have two port, four port and eight port home OLT up to 20 kilometer distance. And uh, the splitter can uh, connect to 64 ONU. This is ONU. One port ONU. It support flow control. VLAN, QoAs, IGMP snooping and the bandwidth control. Here is one application. For the ISP, they may use the OLT and connect to the ONU at home to do the fiber to the building, fiber to the home, or fiber to the community. So for the ONU, you can connect to IPV or PC or IP firm to get Ethernet. Here are the fiber switch and the fiber routers. We have fiber to videos or tube converter. Network adapter. QR code for media converters. And now I'd like to introduce our wireless LAN.
we have the uh, wellness lens solution. Why choose climate solution? We have the comprehensive product portfolio. For example, we have the access point with the AP controller, hardware controller and the software controller. Can centralize control up to more, uh, more than 1,000 devices, outdoor or indoor access points. Totally free of charge of system upgrade and the AP license. Totally free. And we have the unique and user-friendly management functions. Smart LCD control and uh, cloud management by Planet PDNS and Google Map. It shows real-time statistics. It's uh, very easy to understand from the pictures. And it supports smart and intuitive LT LCD control. It shows you AP status, IP port, PoE, VLAN, QoS, and uh, diagnostic port. This one with 40, uh, 24 port switch as well. So it's a switch AP controller. And it support cloud management. I plan it to be TDIS. For the wireless link control, we have the software and the hardware. This is about the hardware. Software is here. It's APC. You can download from our website easily. You can do the management very easy, only four steps. The first step is search, and then add a profile, then fetch provision, then map it. Very easy. It support zone plan. So you can deploy the uh, S point and then use the zone plan to see the wireless signal can reach, which direction and the range. You can see like this. So it, the zone plan help you to put the S point at the right place right location. The features of the wireless LAN management switches are including the LCD screen, the intelligent POE management, and ERP screen, there are two plus management features, and here are more like a dashboard view of wireless network status, or a customization profile available, or multi access point auto provision in one click. And a simplified cluster management. And then you can do the zone plan. It's about LCD and the dashboard view. It's the software AP controller. It's the compar comparison table for the water stain control family.
to compare with other competitors. Planet Wireless Land Controller can manage more than 1,000 indoor outdoor access points, but the other brand is up to 50. And we support IP management. Simple set up wizard, we have the wizard and the SSID grouping. And our network management, including the DHCP server, uh, central management through the SAMP, cloud management by our DDNIS global map, intelligent POE features. And uh, we have three privilege levels for secure and uh, flexible account protection. Uh, our solution building a radius server user account up to 20,000 and uh, configurable expiry date of a user account. And uh, it's cost effective and a free upgrade of wireless LAN software authorization and the system upgrades. About our wireless S point, uh, we have the city mount type uh, or in war type, war mount type. In war S point. The in war S point, we have the 11 AC and 11 M wireless speed. Uh, for the US point, you can put, you can use for the hotel projects. Uh, and uh, you, you can uh, put in wall of each, each room and you support a link connected and the uh, USB charger. So you can uh, charge your uh, mobile phone or your laptop. This is about our uh, outdoor access point. The high output power up to 500 milliwatt or 1,000 milliwatt. You can, they can bear minus 40 to 70, 70 degrees C outside the environment. And they support the POE. So you can use our POE injector or our POE switch to power the S point. We have the IP68 and the IP67 and IP uh, uh, 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz products. There are more outdoor management wireless IP S point. So for these models, the wireless coverage range uh, can be two to five kilometers. Yeah, uh, for the stronger uh, IP68 wireless as a point, the coverage, coverage range depends on your antenna, but normally 10 kilometers is okay. Okay, if you need more information about our wireless LAN products, please use this QR code. And at last, I want to introduce our uh, IP telephony. This is our IP telephony solution. We have the IPPS for 38 users, 100 users, 200 users, and 500 users. Our products follow standard, like our IPPBX follow the uh, SIP standard, SIP SIP standard. So we can co-work with any brands or other products 
that support I, uh, stick stand out as well. There is no problem to co-work. The IPBX is for call center. And the other, we can connect to the IP phones, video phones. Uh, ATA, ATA is analog telephony adapter, or a VOIP gateway, or the conference phone, or the uh, doorways. Our solution is asterisk and uh, IETF SIP best. And uh, POE for flexible deployment. Projects sit start up without peers and uh, reduce setup time to the new system. And uh, we can provide a very high registers and uh, we are a uh, modular design for the uh, modules for the uh, IPPBX, like FXO, FXS, GSM, ISDM port. We have different type of modules. As introduced, we have uh, four products, four IPPBX for different users number. Support auto attendant voicemail, PPX features, SIP server, conference administration, for this model, for 30 users, is for Soho or small to media business offices. It supported two FXL ports to connect to the PST line. And the IPX 20, uh, 2100, uh, there are two slots at the back panel. So you can put in different modules like this one the 21FL, the 21SL, uh, uh, 21GS, different port. You can put the two modules to the uh, rear panel. This one is also support two slots for a module. This IPB support uh, 200 users and uh, 60 concurrent calls. And the 2500 also with two module slots at the back side. It support 500 users and uh, up to 100 concurrent calls. You can use the uh, IPBS at the, your uh, headquarters and connect to different quarters with uh, uh, other IPBX or gateway. Here is the comparison table of the IPBX. Here shows the user number, concurrent code number, and the conference room number and the room concurrent code number, and the sleep trunk number, and etc. Here are the gateways. We have XL, uh, FXS gateways, four port and eight ports. So for the gateway application like this, for the main office, you are using one IPPBX and it connect to the gateway. So the gateway can connect to the IP Jones or fax machine. And you go on internet to connect to other branch offices with the other gateway.
for the IP gums, uh, the VIP1120 PD is the best IP film in planet. It is color screen and a two line key with color LED. So for this IP film, you can register two numbers by two users. It support uh, PoE, so it can be powered by PoE without adapter. Color LED display. And this one uh, is VIP 2140PT. It is a little bit higher end IP film implanted uh, for uh, with two LC, uh, two color screen and uh, six multiple colored LED keys, two line key with color LED and the twelve configurable. From the smaller LCD uh, that uh, at the uh, right down side, this one can uh, show six number, and uh, you can press next page, next page to see other pages. Uh, totally can see uh, uh, 30, 30 uh, extensions. This is the video phone. It's a seven inch video phone. And it's enjoyed touchable LCD. It's also purely supported. It supports six line. And the building enjoyed for a video conference. We also have the intercom here, the VTS700, 700P is the uh, touch screen for home automation. Uh, it is also home automation controller. It's also a SIP IP phone. And it also can uh, monitor the uh, doorway. So it's multiple function intercom. For the 700P, for the VTS, if you are using at home, you can connect to the switch and the switch connect to the home automation gateway and the home automation gateway can connect to the maybe the door lock sensor, the uh, power sensor, or the uh, different kind of sensors. So when you set up the whole automation gateway as uh, not at home more, so means not nobody at home. And if someone uh, knock your your door, it can send a message to you. Or someone open your door, it will also send a message to you. And uh, you can control many things. So if the host is not at home, and uh, uh, he can use uh, the mobile to connect to the home devices, like the camera or the doorway or the home devices. Even uh, the host can open the door for the visitor when the host is not at home. It's about IP intercoms. It's IP65 waterproof, support IK10, And it's a SIP standard. So if uh, the IP phones and the, the doorways, the IP intercoms, and uh, the VTS 700 
if you reach because these are all seed beds. So if you connect them to the same IPvX, then they can do communication with each other without problem. Features IP intercoms. This is for single home use. Here is a, um, here is a button for you to talk. And you can do remote control by your mobile or by your local controller. About the ATA, the analog telephony adapter. For some offices, they already have the tra traditional phone without IP, but they don't want to uh, want to remove this traditional films, but they want them to be managed by IP. How to do? Then they can connect to the traditional phone with the ATA. The ATA is super based and IP based. Then can be managed by the IPBBX. For example, the phone is tradi traditional phone, connect to the ATA, then the IPBS can manage them so the, the films will be like IP film. For more information, please check our QR code. Okay, uh, so Mr. Sajak. Sorry, I can hear you. I think hi, I, 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 hi, I finished my presentation. Do you have any questions, or anyone have questions to us? Yeah, some uh, some of uh, uh, our customers were uh, putting up uh, queries in the chat session to have uh, been, you know, replying to them. Uh, yeah, any any questions from anyone? Please, you can ask to Venus. Yes. Yes, Venus, how are you? Hi, hi. I just want Yara? to ask, yeah, this is Yara. I just hi. want to ask about the certificates. Uh, currently, when I'm going to some meetings, there's a new requirement here in Qatar for uh, the storage certificate. Yeah. Uh, as a planet, are you able to issue one storage certificate for the products that may like it? You, we are supplying to some projects, uh, big quantities, and they need to store these products in some place before they install on the site. So they need one storage certificate from the manufacturer itself. As a planet, are you ready to do it for some projects once requested? Sure, sure. We can do our best to support you. Yeah, please contact Mr. Sajed from our distributor and uh, if you need any support, you can let us know. Okay, okay, Vince. Thank you, yeah. thank you, Allah. Thank you. Uh, anyone, any questions about our products? Venus, one of our customers uh, has asked about uh, the soft phone. Can you please uh, uh, share some knowledge on the soft phone app, which we have discussed earlier? The soft phone? Yeah. Yeah, uh, we can offer the uh, we can offer the information. We can do that. Yeah. So, uh, so we, we can send the soft phone information to Mr. Sajed. Yeah. Then you can offer it. Yes, uh, I would like to thank you very much for your presentation and thanks for the whole uh, name distribution team for the support and for the thing. We are ready to support the whole uh, region. Uh, for any inquiry, please contact us at sales.com. Uh, we will send also as well the certificates of attendance to all uh, people who attend on this.
uh, webinar. Thank you very much, and thanks for thanks again, Venus. Thanks for Jed and the whole team. Thank you. I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. Hello, I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. One second, Venus. No problem. Venus, uh, are you able to hear me now? Yeah, very clear. Yeah, thank, thank you very much, Venus, for your support. I appreciate it too much for you and Mayar and the whole Blend team. Uh, plus, I would like to thank the whole Rare uh, Distribution team. We are ready to uh, serve and support the whole customer the, in the Maya region. Uh, and it's our pleasure. Uh, the good things that we are keeping stock which can uh, help uh, all the customer for the fast delivery, the technical support as well. We have our uh, in-house technical support cooperating with the uh, planet. So we are ready to give the full support to the whole team. Please, if you have you so any, uh, we are uh, just share it through rare uh, sales at raredesk.com. Our pleasure to support and serve you. Thanks, Venus, and uh, thanks for your time. Thank you. Um, inshallah, uh, hopefully soon we will do another one uh, with the updated product range as well. Yeah, yeah, we can keep in touch. And if you need a further support from us, just let us know. We'll do our best. Sure, thank you very much. Plus, we will share the certificates of attendance to the whole uh, people who attend with us uh, the same uh, webinar. And for any kind of technical support, please uh, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank yes. you. Sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Venus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Venus. Thank you. Thank you, Venus. Thank you.